having both feet firmly planted in midair is just about the only place worse than almost persuaded. It's impossible to prove who first said that, and it certainly wasn't me, but it's a great line. He had both feet firmly planted in midair. It's a great description of the relativistic thinking of today. Yes, relativistic is one of those big words that could make some people roll their eyes and jump off to watch something else. But not you. Oh no, you're going to stick around to let me explain. Relativism is the idea that there are no absolutes. The belief that there is no absolute truth. It says things like, I'm okay, you're okay, you do your thing, I will do mine. You get to heaven, whatever that means to you, your own way, which is however you choose. And I will get to heaven, whatever that means to me, my way, which is any old way I choose, and you can't say anything about it. Is it starting to make sense to you? If so, you can begin to see the absurdity of the idea. It's an utterly self-contradictory concept, because it assumes the very thing it denies. What do I mean by it assumes the very thing it denies? To say that everything is relative is to state an absolute while denying there is any such thing as an absolute. It assumes one absolute. There are no absolutes. Are you confused yet? Let me put it this way. The relative is claiming this. There is one absolute truth. There are no absolute truths. See the absolute absurdity of that? As a young child once told me, that don't make no sense. And he was absolutely correct, even though the grammar wasn't and more recently has called this kind of thinking cartoon logic. That means you stand out on the limb like uh, Bugs Bunny, you cut off the limb and the tree falls, but the limb stays firm in the air holding you up. Now, if you're a relativist, you may wanna shout nasty things to me right now or post nasty comments, but don't forget that you've already said, I'm okay and can do my own thing. Well then, doing my own thing may just be illustrating the utter fallacy of your illogic. And that's okay. I'm willing to try. And I'm going to ask you this. Come on down to the ground and plant your feet on the firm foundation. For no man can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. That's in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11. And come back for tomorrow's morning minutes in the Bible to find out why it's a small world after all. Until then, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.